Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Happy holidays. Today is Wednesday, December 22nd, 2021. It is a little before 7 a.m. Just getting to the office. But first, let's go over the mail. Dum, da, dum, dum. Dum, da, dum, dum, dum. Who got the red light camera? Let's have a little a wager. You're going to say MP for Mikey Pipes. You're going to say DC for Daniel Sun. Or you'll say MG for the other Mike. And we're giving these out today. These are gifts for the gentleman. Got some envelopes. We got some fine alcoholic beverage. This is plural. So, let's see who's responsible for this one. Like, damn, like, really? In New York City, it's 50 bucks. Here, they want to crucify you. However, if you guess number one, Mikey Pipes, it ain't me. Nah, uh, it ain't me. It's whoever doesn't have a ladder rack on their truck. Very shippy photos, by the way. Very, very shippy photos. And damn, they got some good cameras. If they read that to be me. Uh, well, the one without the ladder rack is the other mic. Okay. On the road, it is 7.50 in the morning. Heading over to my first service call. I got a lady with a... Uh, Kohler toilet uh, she says is uh, running continuously I'm like is it in a marathon <laughs> see I can be funny entertaining and educational alright let's go see what's going on good morning how, how are you guys good a little wet outside. That's great. I, <laughs> I'm here for a toilet. I know that. I'm blocking you. Are you in the driveway or in the turnaround? I'm in the driveway. Uh, could we uh, just of course. Around me, right? Sure. I gotta get to work. No problem. No problem. Okay. Sorry. Long driveway. Long driveway. All the way down. Okay. Take two. Rialto. in the hose. Flappers are at. Oh, that's what's bad. See that? Let's see. Take this out. That gas. Passing water, I'd still throw it. All right, let's get some things from the truck. All right, I really cranked down on this 
valve, but still slowly letting some water through. All right, I'm gonna do a full rebuild here, including tank cleaning and disinfection. I'm gonna, my goal is to make this work. And I have the new flush valve. All right, so first things first. Basura. Now we're gonna use the M18 vacuum and take all that water out. And I got a rag. I'm gonna pull out the, the fill valve. All cut. Alright. Gonna suck up all of the water in here. I am fighting. Fighting that. Alright. There is the Wolverine brass. Finale Ultimate Toilet Fill Valve, and I got it done. Now, let's crack open the valve, and let me hold this hose. There we go. Much better results. I knew there was something wrong with that cola fill valve. This is a cola? It reminds me of Toto a little bit. And it says Fluid Master on there. What it says? Yep, fluid master. A piece of garbage. Tar made of plastic. What I really like about the Wolverine brass is I get them with the brass shank. So this is the part number 57741. Wolverine brass. Been putting them in for as long as I've been doing service calls, which is a very long time. All right, so just gonna use that little hose. Spray this down on the inside, all right? Make sure that's good. We'll spray this down with the spray nine. Do a little cleaning and disinfecting here. Okay. Get that in there. Right, it builds value. I'm in and out of a job in 15 minutes. Don't expect them to be happy by you paying Oh, look at this. My, my thing broke. See that? It broke. Oh my god. Did I get it from Home Depot? No, I got it from Amazon. No, actually, no, this came from Ace Hardware. Psst, damn, they look brand new. Broken. <sighs> Alright, whatever. Alright, here's my new fill valve. And we're gonna stick it in there like that and then twist. So. Let's see if I can show you one handedly if I can do this on the fly. Uh, no, I can't do it with one hand. I'm sorry, guys. But damn, I'm going to try to feed you anyway. There we go. See? I did it. I know. Use of in tank cleaners, right? This is going to go into there. Oh, get on there. Damn you. Get on there. Okay. All right. She's on there. Now, I just got to hook up the chain. There's a little. You know, it's crazy. Look at this. It's actually a. Oh, it's not a part number. I was expecting to see a, a K number on there. Just <laughs> put that little hook for the flapper. Grand show. Grand show? Instructionales. Instructionis para el kit de servicio. Oh, service kit instructions. hook I was looking to see what they call that they call this an s hook all right let's hook up our s hook and test the water closet okay. now piece of cocky all right you don't have to hold down the tank lever ladies and gentlemen if you're holding down the tank lever something's wrong all right, we're gonna let that fill up a couple times, give multiple flushes. 
And in the interim, I'll start filling out the, the invoice on ServicePal, which is our mobile dispatching and invoicing app. Love ServicePal. All right, take two. It's not a toto, but nonetheless. All right, take three. When I'm flushing, and I guess I still gotta tighten up that S hook, but I'm flushing, I'm making sure that the flapper engages, comes up fully, and doesn't, the operator does not have to hold down the lever. That's what I'm just checking for. I don't wanna, you know, come back here on a recall. All right, so now I'm just gonna tighten up by that S hook. Now that S hook doesn't want to be tightened. And if I'm looking in the picture, it's not tight in there either. You know, it remains an S hook. And then in the instructions, it gives no indication of modifying S hook. So that's where it's staying. That's the way it's staying. S hook. Okay, just one little final modification. I'm trying to increase the water height, so I pushed in on the button and pushed down on this clip and raised up the fill valve a little bit. And now we're at the top mark right there. So now, let's see if we better flush with some more water in here. Eh, minimal improvement, but nonetheless, she was a, a hair below the, the line on the bottom that says 3-3. Eight four. Is it the system for the eight four? Right. Yeah. So I raised it up to three three eight six, and we'll give that a couple more flushes. All right. All right. I'm satisfied. All right. Before I leave, we like to triple check everything. Most importantly, we want to make sure there's no leaks. Let's go look. All right. So I got everything dry there making sure that the water supply line has no water on it, there's no water under the valve, there's no water on anything. And use a paper towel, and then use your hand or glove, and just feel everything, and make sure there's no water, make sure it's all dry. Worst, worst thing you wanna have is a small drip there, and a recall in about a few days or a week, and the area below, you have a ceiling that fell down. You don't want to do that. Always double check your work. All right. I hope you enjoyed that quick little how-to video. You got a Kohler San Rafael toilet that's acting up. Don't play games. Just do a major rebuild on it. Call it a day. Weird about that S-hook thing, though. I wouldn't see that secure. You know, kind of like a bobby pin, you know? So it's closed, so it doesn't fall off. But it is what it is. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below would you have done anything differently to all my tradesmen and trades people out there and as always if i am in your service area sorry if you are in my service area my company's service area and you need prompt and reliable plumbing heating or air conditioning and after january 1st electrical needs give us a call 516-348-6300 we're based in valley stream new york all right, be well, God bless, stay safe. Season's greetings.